Today on the workbench, I have a Athern Genesis FA7 unit that we're going to be working on. I also have the F7B unit in this uh, B&O scheme. We'll be installing decoders in both of them. Uh, this will be a, a two-part series. Uh, what we'll be putting in them is uh, both will have soundtracks, decoders. Uh, we'll be using uh, decoder buddies in these from Nick's Trains. And we'll also be using scale sound systems speakers, uh, two speakers in each unit. So this, is gonna, this thing is going to sound really good when we get done with it. Uh, more than likely, I'll upgrade to LED lights. So there's no time like the present. Let's uh, get right into this thing. Most of these uh, F units like this, they come right off the body. You just pry the body off a little bit and they'll come right up. But you got to take this uh, front coupler off. So let's get that out of the way. <laughs> I cleaned my desk up here. And now I'm having a hard time finding things. Get that out of the way. Pull that out of the way. Yeah, these, these just pry apart. And then that'll fall right out. Hmm. Well, for some reason. I think my rear coupler was... Holding on. There we go. <clears throat> We've got that light attached to the front. So we'll end up pulling that out. Now these aren't brand new. Of course you can tell by that decoder that's right there. someone and I do not recommend black tape and I'll show you why they've put this thing in here that tape it starts to get gooey I guess is what you'd call it. That's what I call it. And then you just have this sticky mess everywhere. So it looks like every connection in this thing is black taped. There is a pair of resistors there for our headlights. So it had a, oh, it's got a TCS just decoder in it. More black tape on things. And <laughs> there's another reason I don't like it. You can just pull that off. So, what else have we got here? Yeah, gives you a good place for a short. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll just cut these off. 
to get them separated. And then we can figure out which decoder buddy we want to put in this. And I, I have test run this, so it does run really well. I'll put my meter on those resistors and see what they were actually using for resistors in that. Okay, one final pair of wires it looks like. So there's our decoder free. Now I can pull those out. straight up <laughs> they have it nicely labeled there so there's our front pickups back pickups motor um, I might be able to put some 202 LEDs in there for some class lights. That would give me, because this one has the two bulbs in it, and I don't think you can see that. can't light the number boards well I mean I could but I mean it would be unnecessarily difficult <clears throat> so I guess we kind of tuck some of these wires away here I want to get get out these two speakers you can see there scale sound systems so this one will be our rear speaker it'll set right in there really nice right in there and we'll use some double-sided tape to tape that down and then we have another little speaker 
it will sit right here. So put that back on there for a second. Away. So that'll be our speaker system. And then we'll have our decoder buddy in here. Just trying to decide what I want to do for lighting. I'm going to try and add the two uh, class lights. And I think I'll put in the two lights. Take these bulbs out that's in this. It'll just make for a better look and those I don't know if you saw that or not but that pulled right out so I can put those aside and get in here yeah that's some kind of a kind of a glue to get that out. A pair of pliers here. Okay. So, all right. So that's where we are with that. I'm going to pull that cab interior back out. I may put a I know they didn't have them back then. Well, I was thinking about maybe putting an emergency stoplight in there, but just to use an extra function. I've got some more red bulbs. And then I could always add a blue one for a maintenance. So maybe we can add a couple of functions to this. And I may separate out the, the lights you see the two holes in the in the headlight there. That way maybe I can get a Mars effect. Get something. Just something to kind of show off the functions a little bit. So I guess now I'll, I'll get a decoder buddy. And then we'll go from there. All right, I've got my decoder buddy, and this is one of the V5s. And I think we're going to end up mounting that in there, just like that. I've also got a uh, Keep Alive for this thing. Uh, I have a TCS Keep Alive that I'll put in. Um, I've got some KA2s. Might see if there'll be a, maybe I can get a KA4 in that right that little space right there but that's going to sit like that and then of course we have our other uh, scale sound system speaker and I'm going to I'll put it facing down and that'll that'll sit right in there like that so then that'll be right there and with our keep alive I think that will that will be excellent. So I'll take uh, double sided tape and put these down with. But that'll be later on. I can remove that speaker. That'll be later on. So let's get to mounting the decoder buddy what I am going to do I wonder I'm going to mount that right here 
with double-sided tape right on this holder. We'll pull that off. I don't think I can... This probably doesn't... Oh yeah, it does. I think that'll pull right off. Yep. So we'll pull that out. And we'll cut these tabs off right here. So we'll cut those off. I believe we'll go ahead and cut this off right here cut these off that way that'll be actually I'll cut this one off on the front leave this one a little high because you can see the see how that is all right, let's go ahead and cut that off. This one off. I'll hit that with a file. I think we're we're fairly level across that. Lay that down. Okay. So that'll give me a an area to set that decoder on or decoder buddy on. Put that there, that in the back. My motor wires will need to be over here. Put that back in there. Now we'll get out some alcohol. I'm going to clean that off. That way our tape will stick a little better. layers on there since it had that since it's got that little ridge I'm gonna make sure I'm not in the way of the speaker give myself plenty of room there I'm 
Okay, I think that will get what I want. I've got my eye marked on this. Let me pull this back off. Mount that decoder just like that. Yeah, I think my tape is too thick, or not thick enough to... I'm going to have to put two pieces on there. So let me get rid of... Rid of this little piece, I'll be able to use that elsewhere. So I'll just cut the piece of that. There. Let me move this out of the way so I can show you what I'm doing. Then I'll cut that off, press that down, I'll use that piece to go right on top of that. Because that is not tall enough. So we'll clean this board off on them. It's just not quite tall enough. It almost works. So we'll double up our tape. For there. And that'll go right down on there. So there we have our tape. That'll fit nicely. Got this out, pull my board off, function board. We'll go ahead and well no, I don't want to tend those yet. <clears throat> so I have to figure which direction I'm going. Alright, let's just set this back down in here because we can get to our motor wires. So there's that. That will fit in there nice. This fits nicely in there. Either way, a 
up or down. So we've got that, that, and then I think we'll still have room for our, we shall have room for our keep alive right in there. So I can go ahead and start. May have to extend. Oh, those are going to be close. My rear pickup wires are going to be close. That one will fit. Okay, they'll both fit. All right. Well, that's a good thing. So I won't have to modify these. I'll go ahead and put those on. And we'll get the motor wired up. So let's start our process of rinse, rinse lather, and repeat here with our wiring just stripping those off well come off of there Got that. Now we'll go ahead and put some flux on these. Board's already taken care of. All right. Okay, let me get out. So on this decoder buddy, we've got our track pickups on each side. And I think I can zoom in on that. You can see the TSST there.
so that'll be our rear and then the front is the same and turn this around this way Now people ask why why you want to use a, a decoder buddy and this is one good reason right here. Now you saw the picture you saw me take this thing apart and the mess of wires that we had to start with. Okay. Now Now we can look at this, and I'll zoom back out. I've got four wires hooked to that, and you really can't tell anything. So these boards, these decoder buddies, make this so much easier and neater. And so now I'm going to take, and I'm going to leave these long, my motor wires. I'll strip them off and I'll put them on the board but just loosely and then I'll try it out and see if I have my direction going the right way. So let's take this One stray wire right there, but I think that'll be good. Okay, now I'm going to put the decoder on this, and right there, I mean, that, that right there is a functioning DCC decoder. It'll move forward, backward. I won't have any lights, but I would still have motion. So let me get my decoder out of the package here. And we'll slide it. Into place. Okay, now I'm going to take and put this on the track and see if uh, see if it'll work. See what your direction it goes. I know it'll work, but I just want to see what direction it goes. I'll be back. All right, I tested it. I've got the wires uh, switched. It's running. Here's the front. Well, you can see where it says front right here. I have the thing wired up backward. It's running backward, so I'm going to take and pull the decoder out, set it aside. I'm also going to put my knife away before I cut myself. So now I know that the black hole be in the front so we can go ahead and tin all this stuff up with the black in front there's that
Those are tinned, flux, fluxed and tinned. Now we'll trim those off. Just a little bit. And I want my black wire in the front. That is, it's either touching or almost touching the other pad. Okay. Hit that with some alcohol. Get all that cleaned up. Okay, there's that. Where are we at here with that? Will set right down in there. Okay, remember I told you about the black tape being sticky. I move this thing I stick my finger in it. Okay. Now so there's our decoder again or our set up. Let's put our decoder back on and I'm going to try it again. Alright. Turn this other light on. Maybe that'll help make this a little brighter. Get it out of the way. Okay, so now I've got our KA2 here. And we should be able to mount it right in back here behind. I say that let me do this I think I can I can double I can tape that right to the end of the speaker here that'll kind of kill two birds with one stone so I'll put that there
Yep. First, I want to clean. Clean that keep alive off. I shouldn't have used that one because that's the one that had the residue of the black tape on it. So I'm just cleaning that off. Just kind of hit the end of that speaker just a little bit. Then I'll get my double sided tape. stick nicely to that. that out of the way. That'll go there. We'll keep it over to this side okay that will stay there forever that'll fit in there quite nicely so there's that I do want to trim a little bit of this. Whatever TCS uses for their heat shrink right there, it's really stiff. So I'm going to cut a little bit of that. Just so that will have some give to it. So our wires aren't hitting our flywheel. I'm going to use double sided tape on this to put it down with. So I might as well go ahead and install that rear speaker. That way we can move on to wire up our keep alive. But first I want to clean any oil there's that I'll clean off the bottom of the speaker. There's that. Then I'm just going to cut three pieces of tape.
So I'll have one on each side right here. off my excess and I'll put one in the back give us plenty of holding power on that and I am using uh, JT's recommended methods of installation he recommends to use uh, a good double-sided tape I think he's in his uh, he has an installation guide on his website and he uses a uh, it's duct duck brand carpet tape to mount his when he does his installations because some of this tape will get hard brittle I've always used this Gorilla Gorilla tape and I've had really good luck with it there are several other brands 3M makes a good tape You can get different different widths. This is a three quarter that I use. But like I say, I've had good luck with it. So I'm gonna make sure I have this pushed all the way up against the this metal and I only want to push on the edges of this so there we've got our speaker mounted our keep alive mounted of course we have our decoder in there Let's turn this back around Now we can start on. Well, actually, I want to do the keep alive. So go ahead and pull the decoder back out of it. got our um, wiring for the keep alive there let me get out of something to point with here is our positive let me zoom in a little bit okay so we've got our positive pad and then this is our ground that we'll be hooking these two wires to so I'll go ahead and cut these that'll give me plenty to work with Mm -hmm. 
strip these off and now a little flux go ahead and tin this so there's that our blue wire is our positive and our black is negative. And I need to trim that off just a little bit. So there's our positive. And I need to trim this one off also. No, no, I don't. There's our positive, or negative, I mean. Then I can put these down inside. These F units are great to work on. There's a lot of room in them. I don't have to worry about things getting in the way. All right. So now we're ready to wire up. We can wire up this uh, rear speaker here if we wanted to. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take a little break right here. All right, I've come back here from a little break, and I'm gonna start on the start on the speakers. And I am gonna wire them up in series. So, but the first thing I want to do before I even put any wires on it, I'm gonna put this decoder back on here, and. Let's see. Put that down on there. I want to get out this installation guide that uh, JT has. Um, yeah, well, I should have had it open first. Um, he recommends when you uh, hook these up to take. And before you hook the speaker up, before you turn the power onto the speaker, to set your uh, decoder settings down, because most of these decoders come at 100% volume. So, uh, let's see here. So I'm going to take and I'm going to drop the, the sound down on this. Um, I just got to find the CV. Do, do, do. Mm 
before connecting the speakers start with your master volume around 80 some of the sounds can cause harm to a single speaker at the default volume okay uh, the EQ should be set flat or turned off and the high pass filter in Tsunami 2 should be set to 20 uh, start with the horn volume at 100 the horns are all different uh, in the decoder so some horns need to be louder some quieter I've set them anywhere from 60 to 180 turn the prime mover volume all the way up so I'm going to do what he recommends here and before I go ahead and hook this thing up so I'm going to set this back up on the track with that there go through all the settings uh, knock, knock that down some and then after we get it all hooked up then I'll go back through and and change it so alright I'll be back alright I set that up on the on the track there and I programmed uh, for the these tsunami decoders the master volume CV is 128 I set it you can the range on them is 0 to 255 he recommends 80 percent so I set it down to about halfway I put it down at uh, 130 so that's just a little over half 50 percent so now I'm going to go ahead and pull the decoder back off and I'll proceed to hook up my speakers and I'm, like I say I'm going to do this in series and you can use the decoder buddy for that so what I'll do is uh, I've got some wire here made up and actually I want a 10 10 my speakers up and he also recommends not to use flux on his speakers so we won't be using any flux touching those on there so now from this rear speaker I am going to go and I've already made up me a couple of pieces of wire here to do this I am going to go well wait a minute I don't think I can do that attach this piece of wire so there's that I was hoping and I just now thought of it I can't go to the decoder buddy to do this in series or can I No. Because one speaker has to be hooked up opposite. Yeah, I can. I can go positive. This will come down here to the positive. So let me cut. Cut this piece of wire and then I'll tin it.
and the positive terminal on this is the top one. Well, you'll see it here in a second when I put the wire down on it. Not a lot of solder there on that. So there's that one. Clean the tip off. Then we can put our negative wire on here. There's that one. flux on that wire though. grab a hold of that so there's our rear speaker hooked in And I'm still debating on this front one. I can go from the positive to the negative of this. And the negative to the positive. That's without the decoder on it. I don't want to do it in parallel. Well, let's just try something here. Pull out this speaker. And so what I want to do is I want, actually what I want to do first is Be able to 
to get my helping hand out. That'll give me something to hold on to. Tin up the speaker. Clean that off. So we're going to tin this speaker up. And I want to do these basically, well, getting ahead of myself. say those do take solder really well there if I could hit it okay and this is going to be kind of hard to do black over here Here's my two wires for that. This one mounts. Let me pull this back over here. Pull that up. Sure, my track pickup wires are out of the way. off before I mount this speaker down. Cut those off about there. And then we'll tin these wires. Still thinking about that. That's got me a little puzzled there a minute. And we've still got all of our lights to go. I don't think I, I still don't think I can do that because the decoder is going to go in here on the coder will go in here and it'll feed out positive and negative on both. If I take and put that 
like I was wiring it in series. Really, maybe the best way to do it instead of using the board is just to run the wires. Yeah, because I'm going to set that decoder on there and it's going to be the positive and negative both ways. So I'd have that I'd have that messed up. So to get this in series, I've got to take uh take my wires and and redo them. So I believe that is what we're going to do. I'll just have to run the wire the length of that. Yeah, I think that's what I'll have to do. Okay. Well, let's take... I take this back off. Actually, I'm going to take a break. Okay, here we go. We're back. And instead of using both of these pads, I'm only going to use the one. I never change the, these wires are still good here. So we'll have this in here. So what I need to do is just use one, which should be this. need to put my double-sided tape on here. Before I do anything, mount the speaker. That way I won't have to be fighting around it. And I want to take and do a little bit of cleaning. Cleaning these pads right in here. <clears throat> and on the speaker, clean a little bit of that. may not be able to do that. The space may be too tight, but I'm going to try it.
Yep, let's try this again and we'll mount this here because that is not going to work. Why in the world? Okay. So there we've got our speaker mounted. Cut my excess double sided tape off. Because if I don't, it'll stick to the body. Do not want that. Pull around here. Okay. There's that. Good, nothing touching the flywheel. Yeah, I think we're all good there. back on my alcohol. And so now, my speaker wiring will be, if I'm going to do this in series, I'm going to take this red wire, which is hooked to the negative of the speaker, run it all the way to the back, Actually, I can I think I was going to run the black. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to unhook one.
Okay. Then I'm going to hook this. so it won't be hitting the flywheel. Okay, we're in good shape there. So I hooked this one, which is red, to my negative. So I've got a negative connection, I've got a positive connection. Now I need to hook my two blacks together to give me my last connection, and that will make this the series. So, strip some wires off here. I'll need a couple of pieces of heat shrink. Confused myself enough with that. So, I'm going to flux these wires. And then we'll go ahead and tin this up. shrink on that. So there's that side. This side I believe I want to want to make that just a little bit longer. Before I do anything piece of heat shrink push it on here and I don't need all of this wire that up again.
Okay. So you can wire this up in series with the decoder buddy. Just not the way I started to do it. I don't know what I was doing. So I've got negative to positive hooked up. And then I've got positive over to positive. And then this wire is negative and it's going to the negative. So all our wiring is good. Push it down in there just a little bit. Give it a little holding power. Okay. So we're all good with that. Both speakers are mounted, even though we had some trouble. Pull that back off of there. Nothing's hitting the flywheel. It may look like it is, but it isn't. Nothing's hitting this flywheel back here. Everything's taped down. I've got the decoder set down to about, man, well, right around 50%. We'll put it on. And I'm going to test this out. So I'll be back. Alright, we're back here. Now, what I want to do, just to show you that this is hooked up in series, which took me forever to wrap my head around. Let me see if I can get... Here's my meter. And we can read right across so we're at 15.3 ohms <clears throat> so so that says we are in series so it can be done right there and I will tell you when I did put this up on the track uh, I do have it set, what did I say, somewhere around 50%. For 50%, I mean, this thing has some low end on it. It sounds excellent. Um, so now, basically, we're done with this. The Keep Alive works. I think I got, with just sound, I got 15 seconds out of the Keep Alive. So we can put this uh, off to the side. Let me put this back on here. And so that takes care of everything we can do right here on the on the body itself or on the sh yeah, on the frame. So now we're up to we're up to installing uh lights. That probably won't focus on that. But I think I can put some class lights on this. Like I say, I may try to put in a just a red light for a cab light. And I may even try a blue light just to, well, I don't have any blue lights. All I have is a red, some red lights. I don't think I have any blue. Anyway, uh... We'll get out, let's see, I think that I still have enough, these are monster LEDs, Big Al Mayo, I 
think if I can get those in there, I won't have to, I won't make up any small lights. Let me get my tweezers. And I'll see if I can put these in one at a time. Yep. I believe, yeah, that's it's too big. So I might have to I'm gonna have to drill this out to get that to fit in there. I don't know if there's enough room down in there for me to drill that out. I can't I can't push it out. And the lens is in there so I can't drill it from the front. tweezers again here. Yeah, I don't think I can use that. if I could get something small enough in there maybe to if I can push the lens out then maybe I could drill that out that's too big to the old drawing board here. Just have to use a smaller smaller bit. Try to use one. Oh, there we go. Pop the lens right out. Alright, so that's handy. Alright, let me measure this. So this light is about 59 thousandths. So what size? 59. That's 40. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, I don't have anything in that index big enough. It's 74. That's way too big. Okay. I'll be back. Alright, I've got a 16th inch bit that I'm going to drill those out. It's just a little oversized for 
what we need, but it'll work. So there's one. got both holes enlarged and the one has something in it there but I'll get that out all right there's that now we can take these LEDs So they slide right in. Now, if I can get them both in, something in the way So there's one. Okay. There's both of our lights. see that still got our lens so now I want to take and glue that down I'll use some yeah, what do I want to use get my goop out I really like the goop Okay. That way that can sit overnight. Keep picking up little bits of stuff off my table here. All right. So that'll give me my headlight. Got the lens right there. I'll glue that back in. Those lights. 
and the board already has resistors so I don't have to add any resistors to anything uh, now these class lights I'm gonna have to make up some small LEDs I believe for the class lights And I'll have to make up a, if I'm going to use the red light in the cab for emergency. I'll need to make up one of those. So, I've still got a lot of work to do. But for now, I need to call it a day. Alright, we're back. I've got the two monster LEDs put in there. And I want to check them. See where we're at. <clears throat> I've got these hooked up in uh, in series. So I'll get out my little calipers. Or not calipers, but my Let's see, what can I hold this up with? And I'll show you what this looks like. I'm trying not to lose my lens that I've got right there. So, we'll take that. So those, those are working. All right. And I know that was flashing, but that's the way these uh, smart tweezers work. They just send a pulse. They don't have a steady current on them. At least not this set anyway. So we're good to go with our LED lights right there. Now, um, what I want to do is, <laughs> pull this off of the track here. that has a hole right there can run the wiring right through so that won't be any problem um, I've got some 202 bulbs that I think I want to attach to the to the shell I'll get them out here And these things are tiny, tiny, tiny. Turn that on. Of course, I've got these. These are 402s. And you can, I think I'll try the 402s. You can just see down in that far corner, right there at the end of my finger, there's a class light. And then there's a class light right down here on this other corner. So I think I'll put that in. And then instead of like the red light that I was talking about, I may, I think I'll put in a, a cab light. I'm going to put these 202 bulbs away. And 
and I think I'll stick with my 40, 406, 403, 402. <clears throat> okay, that'll go away. Then I'll close it up. Two of these. There's one and two. And then, really, all I can do is glue those in place. And I'm going to do like I normally do when I do my headlights. I want to put these wires at 90 degrees to the bulb. So there's one. Now, gluing that is going to be a trick. I'll get this one straightened out. back out. <laughs> this is a cell phone camera mount that I like to use. see what I can do here without putting it against any of the details and breaking anything off. I'm just trying to get this wire up out of my way. <clears throat> Okay, and I don't think you're really going to be able to see what I am trying to do other than take that piece of, <clears throat> take this light, get me some more light in here. Okay, then we'll put these in with a little dab of super glue. We'll try it.
what I may have to do is go back through and drill this Well, if I don't move, I'll be fine. It's kind of like watching paint dry. So I've got it pressed in there. There. So there's one. for the second one. Okay, I've got a good good angle on it.
Well, maybe two is asking too much. Now if it'll just dry, there, okay, <clears throat> I know you didn't get to see a lot of that, but I believe that I have it. So before I do anything, I'm going to let that dry fairly well. And then I'll test them. And we'll go from there. We're back. Um, of course, you can see I've got the shell here. I've got the class lights in, and they're all fastened nice and secure. Headlights in, nice and secure. <clears throat> I even took, I wanted to try something. We'll put a cab light in, and instead of running it from the ceiling, from the roof down, I put this little 402 bulb in the bottom of the cab interior so it'll shine up. So I just want to see what kind of effect that'll that'll have. <clears throat> so we're going to have at least uh, three lighting functions. I think that'll be that'll be good, especially for this. So now we are ready to start wiring the. Uh, wiring a lighting board in and we'll be done. But now before I do that, I'm going to get out a mix trains. This is a different board you can put on your light for your light connections. Uh, and this is a tester. So we'll put that on there, and we can see what we've got, because <clears throat> really I want to hook, and let me get this thing out of the way, like my cab light here, that'll hook up, I've got a, let's see what is it, 11 and 12, yeah. We've got two functions on the uh, board down here that'll stay, so I could wire that into that. But I, I want to check this out first and see where we're at. So let's see what would be the best way to do this. Get that out of the way. I'll move some of my junk here. <clears throat> And I'll pull up a little test track. Pull this up. I'm not going to worry too much about the motion because I don't need to right now. I know it works. Go ahead and plug that in. Yeah. 
plug in my DCC system. So we'll get that plugged in and we'll go through it and see what we've got. <clears throat> okay, there's the decoder came on. And I haven't messed with any of the settings other than lower the master volume down. This is at 50%. but it does have a really good sound to it. But now I want to see my lighting functions. So there's the front headlight. That's the rear headlight. Back to the front. Um, and I'll just go... Let's see, let me get out. Let's see what we have here. Um, F7 is a... That's a dimmer. I must have hit the mute button. So. There's our grade crossing. straight to eight you hear that ramping up turn that off so let's go all the way up to oh. See what F24. Actually, hit 23 of this. Keep hitting select loco. So that's functions four and five. Or five and six, I mean. There's uh, function four. And function three. <clears throat> so now I need to look and see what pins that is. Connect those up accordingly. I won't be able to use um, 11 and 12, aux 11 and 12, because this decoder doesn't support those on that board. 
so I'll end up putting this on aux one, which is up here in this corner. <coughs> Let me I'll zoom down so you can see aux one right there. So I'll use that, and that is function uh, three. So we'll put that on that, and then I'll have my front light and for the class lights I'll probably just use uh, I could use the rear rear light which is actually back here on this corner that's the rear that would be simple no I don't want to do that so I'll use my forward one, I'll use A1, and then I'll use aux 2, which would be on this side. Actually, I'll just keep it right here. I'll have all, all of them right here. These first three pins in this corner right here is the ones I'll use to hook up. AOF, that's the forward light. A1, which will be function 3 and A3 which will be function 4. So let's see, get my soldering iron turned on, move this out of the way, I can pull this board off and I guess a little explanation as to those the auxiliary outputs I guess you want to call them 1 through 12 uh, there's a chart on Nick's website that goes through all of the uh, pins, and it's it's right there. It's real simple. You can figure out which pin you're on. That gives you your function, and so on and so forth. So that's the way I do that. Now this I can take. I've got a little little block here that I take and use let me get this thing ready this is a machinist block this is an old decoder buddy that I kinda burn up at one time but what I use it for is to hold Um, use it to hold my lighting or my function outputs so, or the 10 pin connector whatever you want to call it there so then I can take and get out my solder or my flux and I'm going to use that one that one and that one and then for my ground I'm going to go down here and I can use any of these on the bottom but we'll just pick one and I can go ahead and start to tin these up So that's that. Now I'll clean that off. And these three up here, this will be our 
This will be the negative side. This is the common side. It's got resistors on it, so we won't have to fool with resistors. Should just be able to go. Um, so let's see. Have that there. I'm going to pull that up over that speaker. I'll leave myself a little extra here. <clears throat> Find my cutter. So we can strip that. Strip that. Nope, oh, you can't see that. We'll bring in another block here. So we'll get those tinned up. <clears throat> so let me trim that off just a little bit. So there's that one, you know, let's see, we'll do a couple more these negative pads. work that cleaned off all right now bring our body over and what I want to do is zoom out I want to take all this mess I'm going to 
run it through the cab. Um, actually, what I think I'll do is get a piece of heat shrink. Run all of it through the cab. That way, it won't be won't be seen. If we do see anything, it'll just be this piece of black heat shrink. everything a little neater. You know, actually, I want to try this. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut little pieces of heat shrink and use them as like little miniature wire ties. that there. Get another piece of this. Pull this back over. Now I'll take and shrink that up. that and I think two will be plenty right there and I can run that through so that'll be that These I'm going to leave connected in series for the headlight. But I am going to put a piece on that too. Yeah. Twist some of that together. So there's one. I 
I don't think I'll need that one right there because I'm going to run it through this long piece. Well, that didn't work the way I thought it was going to work. Trying to get that behind that center mullion, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> and I'll take a piece of Capton tape here. So that'll stick that down. And it didn't stick. Which that doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> so. some contact cement. That I haven't tried. And that stuff needs some work done to it. So to the goop. I'll put some goop on it and then Stick it down in there. So that'll take. 
take care of that. And then I'll put a piece of tape on it. <clears throat> Hopefully that will hold it a little better. So I've got it where I want it. Put this piece of tape on there again. I don't think that's going to have any better effect. Nope. It won't stick to it. So I'll sit here for a few minutes and let this dry. <clears throat> All right, I got this glued down, I think, and I am ready to go ahead and wire this up to the board. But I think I'm going to do this one a little different. I'm going to take this off of here and put it back onto the locomotive itself so that way we can get that out of the way move that pull that over That will sit there. And then take this. So these are our the two smaller wires are the um, class lights. So I'm going to trim this off. Let me zoom down just a little bit. Put that off. And I can put that right to any of these on this. So there's that, and I can do the same with my red. First I need to put a little bit of flux on that and tin it. <clears throat> Sometimes this solid wire is tough to tough to tin. So I'll trim a little bit of that off. There's that. Now I just got to hook up 
the other function here, or the other class light, the negative, and it'll go to aux one. And then we'll be ready to try this puppy out. Get my tweezers. that go ahead and tin this wire up some flux on that that and I can trim it off And I put my positive negative on my headlights on the wrong wires, or the wrong leads. The white is the, oh no I didn't, never mind, I put it on there right now, okay. I'm losing my mind. Alright, so I've got everything wired up, I'm going to test it out and then I'll be back here in a second. Alright, so I tested it, everything works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it all together and then once I get it together then I'll move you to a side view and you can see the finished product. So alright I'll be back. Alright we're here we've got this model together uh, and I'll run through some of the sounds on this thing. Now I have changed the uh, the prime mover on this and I've changed the horn. So let's fire this thing up and we'll let it run through its startup sequence. Okay, there's our startup sequence. Now I've got the volume set at 50% on this, and I think that's I think that's a good volume for this. So I've changed the horn. So this has got some nice uh, low sound to it. Um, let's go ahead. There's the bell. We'll run through some of these other sounds on this. Get out my little cheat sheet here. So we've got, we've already went through the horn, the bell, there's our short horn. Um, I'm not going to do the grade crossing. Um, of course we've got, uh, let's see, here's
You know, I thought that should have been straight to eight, but it's not. Maybe let me get this moving. So there you can see it start to move. Start ramping up through this. You can hear the clickety clack there. Cab chatter. So there's several different things there we can go through. But ramp it up a little more. You can hear the clickety clack uh, going faster as we move up. But let's, uh, I'm going to pull this around here so you can see the uh, headlight and the class lights. So right now, I've got the headlight on. And then we'll go to... There's our cab light. And there's our class light. ramp up a little more there. So all in all, this is a fairly easy install. Of course we used our decoder buddy and our scale sound systems speakers. So you can hear that as I'm ramping up. There you can see our cab light again. But yeah, we're done with this one. Ramp it down. Turn our lights off. There's that and that. So we're gonna. We're going to consider this one done. So, thanks for watching.